Hey, this is Jerry from Blue Studio. And in this particular demo, we are going to tackle creating a sound manager. And with that sound manager in the UI, we're going to mute the audio, so turn it on and off. And then we're also going to create a slider and then be able to control the volume. And if you're ready to set that up, well, let's go. Okay, so here I am in Unity. So I've already started to put together just a little bit of a UI. So it's just a panel that says game sound, has a character in the background. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and with this sound UI, so I've got a little sound UI here with the panel and text mesh pro uh, game object at the top. I want to go ahead and include a sound on and off toggle. And then also I want to include a UI slider. So I'm going to include two different types of UI and I want to handle changing those in Playmaker. So let's go ahead and first create the slider. So I'm going to go ahead and select my UI and then click UI and slider. And there we go. So we now have our slider. I'm going to go ahead and bring that down into my panel and then just increase the size a little bit because it's a little bit on the small side. So let's go with a width of maybe 300 pixels wide. It's not too bad. And then we'll also increase the height just a little bit. So let's go with maybe 50 pixels. And that doesn't look too bad. Um, my handle has uh, become a little bit squished, but that's okay. I'm gonna change that here shortly. All right, so I do also wanna change the graphics that make up the slider. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. I have some graphics that I created over here, a UI slider handle, a UI um, volume background and foreground. So I'm gonna use those graphics with my background and foreground. I have those set up as Sprite 2D UI, same thing with the handle as well. So then I can just drag and drop those right into those spots. So let's change the background first. So the background, I selected the background and you can see that here in the image, I need to drop the background image. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So UI volume background, and it's just a little bit darker. And then I also wanna do the same thing with the fill area. So in the fill itself, it has the default UI sprite in there. Instead, I'm gonna drop in my own graphic so UI volume foreground. And just to show you foreground that I have, I, I went ahead and set this up with a Sprite 2D, but then I also changed the, the mesh type from the default of tight to a full rect. And then I went into the Sprite editor and then set up so that there's this green bounding box around the center so that way the, the left and right will be exactly the size that it needs to be, but I can stretch that center part, okay? All right, so I've got that set up and then I also need to change out my handle. So let's go and toggle down the handle here and we have the handle and you can see the default knob. We're gonna go ahead and change that out for my UI slider handle drag that in and it's a little bit on the squish side you can see that it is a kind of vertical um, handle but i want to go ahead and just increase the size of it just a little bit and maybe 1.3 yeah and that's not too bad okay so we have that set up let's just give this a test real quick so here you can see that we have a slider now that works so that's exactly what we're looking for all right, the next thing we need to do is to also include the toggle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rename my slider here real quick. So we'll call this volume control. And then I'm also gonna click on UI sound and then include a UI toggle, okay? And so we'll call this volume on off. And we can leave the word toggle on there. It doesn't really matter. Cool, and of course I need to get this into place as well. And let's go ahead and change out a few things here real quick. So first the width and height, I definitely need to increase that. So let's go ahead and go with a width of maybe 300, I guess. Height of, let's just go with 60 maybe. And of course that didn't really increase the size of our toggle or our text. So let's go ahead and change that real quick. In the toggle, I have a background, which is a default sprite. 
and then also a check mark, which is one of the default UI sprites as well. And I'm gonna change those out for my own individual graphics. So the background, first I'm gonna go ahead and drop in a UI sprite for that. So I have a checkbox background and we'll drag and drag that in so you can see what that looks like. And I'm gonna increase the size of it because it's a little bit on the small side. So we're gonna take the width and height and increase that to maybe 60 by 60, maybe not that big. Let's go 50 by 50, 50, there we go. Okay, so we have that at the size that it needs to be. We also need to include the check mark. So I'm gonna change the check mark out for my UI check sprite. So we've got that there. And of course it's a little bit small too. So let's go ahead and increase the size of that. Let's just maybe increase the size of that to 50 by 50 as well. Yeah, and I think that works actually pretty good. Okay, so the next thing we need to look at is the label. And of course it's dark on this dark background, so we need to change the color of it. So let's go ahead and change the color. I'll just change it to white, and then I'm gonna increase the font size. So let's maybe go with 30. And we'll change the text. We'll change that out to sound on slash off. And then I'm also going to just move that text just a little bit so it's a little more centered on my sprites. And I'm going to just go ahead and move that whole thing over just a little bit so it's a little more centered within the rest of the content there. And I think I'm, I'm going to move both of those down slightly. Yeah, there we go. I think that works. Cool. All right, so I have kind of the UI part set up. Now I actually need to make those work with Playmaker. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to have some kind of sound that we're going to uh, turn on and off or change the volume. So what I'm gonna do is, what I like to normally do is go ahead and set up an empty game object. This is gonna be my game manager, okay? And then inside of that, I like to put uh, specific empty game objects that I call managers for other things. So this is kind of like where all of those managers reside. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create empty and I'll call this sound manager. What I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach a sound to my sound manager. Now there's, uh, depending on what sounds you're gonna include in your game, how you're gonna to wanna to do this, but I'm gonna just do this for one, one sound for the moment. So I'm gonna include an audio source and then you can see that I now have an audio source and I need to go ahead and drag my sound. So it's this, this uh, audio clip here. I'm gonna drag that into my audio clip. And then now if I hit play, hopefully this should play that sound and that song plays, cool. So I have that part working. And then I also want it to loop because this is just background music. All right, so we've got that kind of all set up. Now the cool thing is, is that we've got some functions right here that we can actually target. Uh, within our audio source. So uh, one of those is volume. So let's go ahead and tackle the volume first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and so I'm on my sound manager, I'm gonna add an FSM. And in this FSM, we're gonna um, handle sound volume. Okay, so what we wanna do is we want to uh, just easily enough, I can drag the audio source that I have set up here down into my state machine. And then what I'm gonna do is I want to handle the audio set audio volume, okay? And I'm gonna set that up and I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use a number here, but instead of just using this slider, which I can do, I'm gonna use a variable, okay? And the reason I'm gonna use a variable is because I wanna attach the volume slider to that uh, variable number and then use the update of that setting the volume of the game. Okay, so I'm gonna update this every frame. I need to go ahead and create a variable. So let's go and create a new variable. And then I'm gonna call this sound volume. Okay, so we have that set up and it's set to every frame. Um, by default, it is zero. So if I select here, you can see that zero. Um, of course, I haven't attached it to my slider just yet. And so what I want to do is I'm going to lock my FSM. So let's go ahead and go back to our sound volume state. I'm going to lock my FSM. Okay, with our, our Playmaker FSM locked, I can now go up. Let's select our volume control. So that's the slider. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that slider down. And then it's saying, hey, what do you wanna do? Well, I want to UI slider get value. Okay, so whenever I, I change that slider, it's changing a normalized number, which is zero to one. So if it's halfway on the slider, it's gonna be 0.5. So it's gonna continually get that. Now I need to store that value. So I've already set up a value that I'm using here called sound volume. So I can just actually use that as to store that volume, okay? And then we also wanna make sure that we set this to be every frame. So let's give this a test. And I probably should use the get value before I'm setting the value here with my audio volume. So let's give this a test. Again, by default, this is set to zero. And so we hear no sound. So if I increase my, my slider value, we are now getting our sound. So you can see I can now control the sound of my game based off this slider. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now let's do the same thing with our toggle. Now I'm gonna set this up as a separate FSM. So let's go ahead and first name our volume FSM. So let's go sound volume FSM. And then I'm gonna add another FSM. So our sound manager is gonna have multiple FSMs attached to it. So here we're gonna go uh, where we say sound volume FSM. That's the name we just changed it. I'm gonna add a new FSM. And this one's going to be sound mute FSM. Okay, so we're, we're gonna use that toggle to mute or unmute the sound, okay? So here we'll call this first state We'll call that sound on, all right? And so um, I also need to create a second state. So let's go ahead and do that here real quick. So we'll go add state. And this one's going to be sound off, all right? And then I'm also gonna add two events that are named that as well. So sound on and sound off. So sound on, that's one event. And then another one as sound off, okay? So let's add those transitions over to our states. So on sound on, if we're on the sound on, we wanna be able to turn our sound off. So let's add a sound off transition. We're gonna select that and drag over to sound off and then same thing going back. So sound on, we're gonna go over to sound on. Okay, so I have the, the state set up in the transitions, but they're not doing anything yet. There's nothing in the state. So we need to actually add some actions they're gonna toggle that sound on and off, okay? So what we can do is just take our audio source and drag it right into our actions here. And then it's saying, hey, what do you wanna do with it? Well, what I'm gonna do is go into audio and then you see we've got an option for audio mute right there. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then the audio source is connected to the owner, which is our sound manager. And so we've got the option of muting it on and off. Okay, so when we're on the sound on, we want this mute to be off, okay? The, so that's gonna handle turning the sound off, but we actually need to handle also the toggle button, okay? So let's go, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock this FSM, and then go up to our volume on and off. We're gonna go ahead and drag that toggle down into our window. Okay, so then it's saying, hey, what do you wanna do with the toggle? Well, we wanna go into UI. So we wanna set the value to be on, okay? So if we're on the on state, we want our volume to be playing. So we're gonna have right here where it says is on, we're gonna check that. So we know that we want the checkbox to be selected. And then we also need to set the value of that as well. So what we're gonna do is to drag that down again and toggle UI. And then here you see that there's an option for on toggle on value change event. Okay, so if we uncheck that, we want something to happen. And that what we wanna happen is to go to our sound off state. Okay, so here's send event. We've got sound off, so we can go ahead and do sound off. And then if somebody toggles that, that button, it'll trigger over and go over to sound off, okay? Now, if we're on sound off, we wanna do just everything reversed of what we just did. 
So we can go ahead and easily just copy these, go over to our sound off state. So first we want the to mute our audio. So we're gonna check that on. Then we want to set the toggle to be off. So we're gonna uncheck that. And then here it's saying, hey, you, you know, do a sound event or send an event. And we want that send event to be sound on because if we check that, we're gonna go back to our sound on state, okay? So here in our sound on, we're, we're unmuting, we're having the, the switch be on, and then we're also, if somebody does click on it, then go over to sound off. Sound off, we're doing just the opposite. So let's give that a test real quick. So there's turn our volume up, and then if we check the sound box, we should go over to sound off. And now we hear nothing. Now it's on, now it's off. And there you go, we've now created a very simple sound manager using Playmaker. Hey, I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can use it for all of your games and it's great to be able to include turning the sound on and off and then also changing the volume for the user. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial and don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace. Oh, oh, oh.